All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to simulate a maximum power transfer circuit. Um, and in particular, I'm going to show you uh, how to uh, change the value of resistance and measure power. And we're going to do this on Windows. So what I want to do is uh, start by adding a voltage source, which I do by going to components. And I will uh, search for voltage, click OK, enter it, hit escape to uh, stop placing such an item. And then I want to put 12 volts as my value, which I do by right-clicking where it says V. Next, I need to add some resistors. I could go to components and find them, or I could use the shortcut here for resistors. And I can uh, rotate by using Control R to rotate them. So I want to put one here, one here, uh, one over here, and one over here and then I can click escape to stop placing. Now I need to give values to each of these resistors. The first one is going to be 680. Okay, the next one uh, over here, R2, is going to be 270. Okay, uh, this one is going to be 470 ohms. And then lastly, this final one over here is the one I want to change, and what I'm going to do is give it squiggly brackets on the outside to make it uh, a parameter that I can vary. Next thing I want to do is add ground. I can do so by clicking the ground shortcut up there. And then the final thing I want to do is connect all of these as wires. And I will do this uh, in the following pattern. So that way everything is connected together. Okay. I want to connect up from ground to this wire, and I want to connect from that wire to this resistor, and finally from this resistor up to the wire. All right, so uh, that is great. I now have my circuit drawn. It's 12 volts with a number of different resistors. Next thing I want to do is tell uh, SPICE that I want to uh, vary the value of this resistance, and I do so, so with the SPICE directive, which is uh, the little dot .op logo up here. And I will do the following. I will type dot .step param. That will step the parameter uh, that I choose, and in this case I'm going to choose R to be my parameter. And I want to step it uh, from 50 to 1000 in steps of 50. Um, and so that's the syntax for that. I'll click OK, and I will place it somewhere down here. Now, before I simulate this, uh, I should probably give a simulation command. Uh, in Windows, if I click Run, it will let me choose the simulation command I want. In this case, I want to choose DC operating point or DC OP point. And so I'll click OK. And you'll see that it adds that and then gives me a plot. Now, what I want to see on this plot is both the voltage across this resistor, which I will measure here. By the way, setting ground allows me to have a reference point, which is zero. So I'm measuring a voltage in reference to zero. So uh, I have vol measured the voltage here. It's called voltage node three. We could change that name if we want. I'm going to right click on that and change the color to blue because green is really hard to see. All right, next, I want to plot the power. And the easiest way to plot the power here is to use the expression V times I. So I already know that the voltage for this resistor is VN003. Uh, so next thing I could do is grab that current, and I do so by putting my pro over the resistor so it looks like a little current measurement. And uh, that gives me a current. And what I want to do is take that current and multiply it by the voltage for that resistor. And uh, I'm going to give it the color red. And so I'll go ahead and click OK. And I'll see now that I have both the voltage and the power. And you'll see that this power increases for a certain amount of time. And then at a certain resistance, it maximizes. And at, at that resistance, we have what's called maximum power transfer, which is something that you can learn about more uh, when you learn about 7 and equivalent circuits.